you, you know, it's, it's comments like this that absolutely make my skin crawl. I mean, there are two things that come to mind when I, when I see comments like this. And trust me, I see these comments often. The first thing that, that bothers me about comments like this is that this is exactly what celebrity Christianity has produced. Our, our culture is inundated with so-called Christians who have struck gold in the name of Jesus. I mean, to me, it's absolutely sickening considering our Lord didn't have a place to lay his head and he came to this earth to serve in complete humility. He, he didn't give one rip about money and he warned us constantly in his teachings about the dangers of money. The second thing that bothers me is how some Christians attack other Christians for stepping out in faith and doing what they, they feel God's called them to. There's no verifying before they attack. They, they see someone doing something in the name of Jesus and they just make assumptions. I mean, they, they criticize when they haven't probably ever lifted a finger for Christ. I mean, geez, they probably wouldn't even know the slightest thing about Jesus if you asked them. But yet they get on social media and they pollute the comments with toxic words that aren't edifying. And it's, it's disgusting. Christians, the Bible says we are to edify and encourage the saints, not tear them down. And the point of all this, well, let me just be real transparent about Broken and Chosen. Guys, this isn't my full-time job. It's a hobby, a hobby that I spend about 20 hours of a week at, and I don't make money. If anything, I'm losing money. I don't, I don't have fame. I don't get much feedback and encouragement for what I do. If anything, it's, it's a thankless job. I spend hours and hours creating content and using any creativity I can to share the gospel and I do it expecting nothing in return. So many nights I go to bed almost in tears saying, I don't even want to do this anymore. But then I wake up and there I am with the Lord and I feel him prompting me to keep going, reminding me to keep going. The point, we will be criticized. We will be ignored. We won't feel like continuing, but we must be faithful. I heard a wise saying, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And if you're chasing Jesus and living to make him known in a biblical manner, buckle up. It's the hard knock life and it's not a pretty road, but stay faithful. Right now, I'm in the season where the Lord has given me a small ministry. It's not famous, it's not big, but it's a seed. And if I'm faithful with it, the Lord will grow it. He'll turn it into what he wants when he wants. And we must remember that the enemy will do anything he can to send people in your way to thwart the plans. And for those who want to hate, stop. For those in the same place as me, I urge you to keep going, no matter what the haters say. Let them talk. We must be about kingdom business. And if we are, the road is a road less traveled. It's a lonely road at times, but keep the faith. This is evidence that we're on the right path.